All right, it's time I do another review. Here we have SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Scissors from Kamen Rider Ryuki. And here's all the stuff he comes with. He comes with a Tamashi stage, which most of the Tamashi stages have uh, before come with the Mirror Monsters, so it's nice to get it with the Rider this time. It's got a nice crab logo on it. He comes with a really neat looking shield, lots of cool sculpted detail, beautiful metallic orange, and some darkish gray on there. Comes with a neat articulated claw, um, only the lower claw is articulated, but it goes open and closed. It's nice and non-child safe. Um, again, it's got silver, gray, and orange on it. You shiny. Comes with a bunch of hands. Now you may notice it's a little off balanced on one side. This figure comes with two left hands and that's it. Comes with the default fist and the grasping holding things hand that I already have installed right there. The rest of the hands are the standard, all of the standard hands that come with all the other Ryuki figures. The card holding hand, punching hand, holding something straight, holding something angled forward, and then two sort of relaxed sort of not relaxed hand, fingers displayed, whatever. And he comes with four advent cards. <clears throat> he also comes with the deck that's in his belt. And you can swap that out for this awesome busted belt. From when his card deck shattered and his monster ate him. So Standard Yuki body with lots of really great articulation. I love the die cast feet. Um, anybody who says the plastic feet are just as good is sadly mistaken. <clears throat> the die cast feet are way better. I posted a photo gallery of this figure on Toku Nation last week, shortly after I got him. And I think, did I get this guy into a one legged pose? I can't remember. I mean, you can easily balance these Ryuki figures on one foot um, because this foot is nice and heavy and it's so well articulated in the ankle that you can get as much contact area as you need. Someday I'll have to figure out how that one guy did that toe stand. But um, So great leg articulation. He's got waist swivels. It's on both sides of the belt. Uh, his upper torso crunches too. There's a ball joint so it can go either direction. His arms. The Ryuki body is just the best figure arts body I have experienced. And I have uh, uh, an embarrassing large number of figure arts. And this one is the best. And anybody who disagrees with me, uh, disagrees with me. It's got bicep swivels. I've noticed the last couple of my Ryuki figure arts, the bicep swivel has been kind of tight, kind of squeaks. I'm not too worried about it. The shoulder thing is on its own rocker hinge joint of some kind. And it's attached to the shoulder, so it rotates around with it, so it doesn't restrict the articulation. Um, I like the ball jointed hands for lots of expressive positions. It's got a good neck, <coughs> excuse me, with with articulation at both the top and the bottom, and I'll try and keep this in frame, and maybe, am I out of focus? So you can have him tilting his head any which way. He can look up fairly good, look down really well. So the design of scissors is really cool. He was only in two episodes of Ryuki, if I recall correctly. Um, but he's really neat looking. I like the crab motif, even though I'm not really big into crabs. The shoulder pads each have three legs, or leg-like things that are not super sharp, but they're reasonably pointy. Then two bigger ones on his back, which are non-articulated. I like the the sculpt on the back. His head is really, really cool. I like the the design, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. I like the eye stalks. Um, though I am afraid if I ever drop this guy, he, those will snap right off. And, and it will be uh, expensive to replace because this guy was a Tamashi Web exclusive. 
Unfortunately, if you missed out on him, he could become very rare and hard to find on Mandarake like a stupid guy did and be hundreds of dollars. Or maybe he'll be not too hard to get a hold of. Um, his visor, which I didn't look up what it's called, looks like a little bit of crab pincher. And you can fold him in to open it. You can stick a card right there and close it back up. The shield has a, one of these ports. So you pop that off. Plug that in and these two little arms click over top of the visor. Just like that. Snap, and click, and plug. And now guard vent. And then his claw, you remove his hand just like that, have the peg pointing forward, and unlike Ryuga and Ryuki, where their strike vent is a little hard to get on, oh, you gotta pull the plug off too, and definitely unlike Tiger, whose claws are really hard to get on, his is pretty decent, just plugs in. Probably helps that it's got a big long sheath over top of the arm so it can't really shift and move the peg where you don't want it. But there, now you can have him shielding and striking. I lay on the feet with the table. He'll just stand there. So if you can get this guy for for inexpensive, anywhere in your retail, three thousand to five thousand yen, I'd say he's worth it. Um, I'm also in love with the Ryuki, Ryuki line in general, though, and I have them all, and will continue to buy them all because they are excellent, great figures. And check out this awesome metallic orange he is. It's pretty great. And even the ribs on his sides and his biceps have the metallic orange. My only complaint with this guy is with the design, that the calf armor, the forearm armor, and his hands are silver instead of orange, which if I were to grab Oja or Raya, you would see that they're the same color as his armor. But Kamen Rider Scissors is cool. I hope we get his contract monster someday soon. Thanks for watching.